back. Um, my disc in my lower back, of course, messed up, but it is what it is. Pinched nerve in my neck. Um, just learn how to, to survive and deal with it because driving is what I've done my whole adulthood. So, mm -hmm. you know. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Every, every time my 5G... <laughs> every time my 5G drops into 4G, it kind of like... Loses. Yeah, it loses the signal uh -huh. for the 5G, and then it pops back onto the 4G, and then it'll come right back up. So what I did, I just went to my settings and just set it to 4G, so... Hopefully, hopefully we got a we we got a good connection. Um, I always called you Michelle, but it's Marshall, right? Marshall, yeah. That's what I thought. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on, Marshall in the building. <laughs> so let's let's just start. By what's been going on with you. Like, I mean, we haven't talked in uh well, we talked in the background a lot, but you know, we haven't came back together, you know, on the podcast for like a year, right? I know. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, wow. I'm done expecting another grandbaby. Whoop. Number three great grandbaby. Great what great grandbaby? That means yeah, this will be the third one. That means you're having a your kid's kid is having a baby, right? Yep. Yep. My oldest daughter, her son's got two babies, and then her daughter is. We just found out she's due April the sixteenth. Wow. How now? These are your your daughter's kids. Now, how how old are they? My oldest daughter. Your oldest yeah, daughter. Yeah, my oldest daughter. Yeah, how, how, Peyton's twenty one and Miracle's eighteen. So the eighteen year old is inspecting. Yes, her and her husband. Well, husband at eighteen. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what I said, but you know, children, children. Wow. So when did they? When did they get married? Well, yeah, I'm hoping she had. They got married about. They got married about a month ago. Wow. But they've been living together for a year. Oh, okay. Uh, can I ask how old is the husband? He's twenty. Oh, okay, okay, so not, not too far off. Nah. Oh, okay. And they've been dating for two or three years. So. Children, as long as they're happy, then my baby girl, my son just had a birthday yesterday. He just turned 32. And then my baby girl graduates from college December the 9th. So, wait. You say they've been dating for three years? Yeah, my youngest, my granddaughter. Yeah, that's expecting. Yeah, they've been dating for about three years. So she was fifteen, and he was eighteen. He was seventeen. Oh, 17. he was se seventeen. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So she was a freshman in high school, and he was about to graduate. If we yeah, look at it that way, something like that. I I can't keep up with them. <laughs> I just say okay and let it ride. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, na I'm just nay nay. I ain't mama and daddy. I ain't worried about it. I know that's right. I know that's right. So, Marshall, how how have how have you been doing? I mean, the last time we spoke, uh, you was in a you was in a a truck accident uh, around that time, and you was at home, you know, resting and everything. So, how did that? I'm doing good. How how did that turn out for you? And you know, and of course, you're back out on the road. So how long did it take for your recovery? About a year. About a year. Um, physical therapy. Of course, chiropractor. 
uh, pinched nerve in the back. Um, my disc in my lower back, of course, messed up, but it is what it is. Pinched nerve in my neck. Um, just learn how to, to survive and deal with it because driving is what I've done my whole adulthood. So, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. Now, and plus having a good truck that's comfortable that don't beat you to death is good plus too. Gotcha. Are you are you still with the same company that you had the accident in? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, I left there. I left there. They whatever. But I left there and then um I went to Super Ego for a little bit and <sighs> Super Ego is nothing but a joke. You know, you reached uh, out to me and and asked me what my thoughts was on Super Ego and I sent you that that video of that young lady yeah. that had her her like super ego struggles there. So you decided to go to oh, Super yeah, Ego. Sir. What what was uh I did. Uh there for a while I was doing good with them and then all of a sudden it went all the hell in a handbasket. They didn't wanna they don't for one, they don't give you no fuel discount at Super Ego. None. Mm-hmm. But you don't get no fuel discount. Their loads pay crap, mm. but yet, you know, and you never know what your check is going to be because you don't never know what they're going to take out of it as far as, you know, settlement goes, as far as insurance, this and another. You never would know what your check is going to be. So, therefore, you know, there for a while, um, i done real good with them. And then it got to where, hell, I was spending more than what I was making. Mm. So I decided, okay, I'm leaving, and I come to Barlow. How was how was that how was that possible? How how you was spending more than you was making? I mean, what they was doing? Because the loads, because by the time you bought fuel with no fuel discount, and fuel at that time was like six something a gallon. Right. Um, their loads paid literally crap. We're talking like shit. Um. So we got to where, okay, you can do your settlement. You can look and see what, you know, whether you're going to be on a plus or a negative. And, and it got to where it just wasn't working. I'd be gone and, you know, after truck payment, insurance, fuel, you know, you bring home two or $300. No, that ain't happening. What? So I got up out of there. I bounced. I went home. Um, I went home one weekend, cleaned out the truck. Um, made sure I had enough fuel in it because they'll cut your fuel card off. If you ain't under load, they'll cut your fuel card off. Made sure I had enough fuel in that truck. I cleaned that truck out and I bounced, bounced that bitch right back to Chicago. Okay, 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 and okay, okay, okay. Everybody keep well. There's more negative feedback about Super Eagle than there is positive. But there's a lot of drivers yeah. that that's working at Super Eagle, and Super Eagle themselves is said that they they like, you know, they paying this amount. You can make this amount. You can make two thousand. You can make three thousand. You can make a lot of money over here at Super Eagle. I mean, they 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 over here trying to give you the lure of coming over to that company, and if the people don't go and do their research about the company, they get into that company. And then in the beginning, I guess it was all great. How how was your dispatches? Like, was you able to look on the low board and see what you can get? Oh, or no. you had to be dispatched? Mm-hmm. You had to be dispatched by they one of their dispatch dispatchers. You. Yeah. Yeah. They say that you can look on the low board and you can, you know, if you find the load and it's paying this amount, well, we'll get it, blah, blah, blah. No, that ain't how it worked. Because I caught their ass. Um, I had a load board. Went in. Same load they were wanting to give me. Same load. Was paying $2,000 more than what they were offering. They they said it out of their own mouth. My dispatcher said it out of his own mouth. Because they're in a different country. They have called a thing called freight guard on them. I don't know if it's claim, freight guard, whatever it is. What what is a freight freight guard for the for the people and myself? I don't really know. Yeah, what what is that? I think it's where. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. (laughs) 
You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. Your score or you've had accidents, and I asked a broker friend of mine, and she said that they've had claims or they've had um, late deliveries or missing deliveries, um, you know, things like that. So, there's, of course, they're going to get all the shit free. They're not going to get the good paying free. Because the same load, when I busted them and I called them, this load was paying like $4,000, and they offered me $2,000. Wow. So, in, you know in, what I mean? in, in a, other, a, other words, there's a big difference. In other words, they would get the load for $4,000, but undercut you as a lease driver mm -hmm. to uh, take to take the load for for, uh, for two thousand dollars. Wow! Mm -hmm. They're double brokering. That's crazy. So how long you was with yep. them before you left? I was with them about six months. And you said you said at that time enough was enough. Enough was enough. Wow! That's crazy. I'd already been approved for Barlow, so. Um, I'd already had my mind made up when I went home that weekend that I was just cleaning up a truck and returning it back to him. Uncle Phil had me a flight straight out. I flew straight out of Chicago to Kansas City. So they, Barlow. So when you so you didn't you of course you didn't let them know that you was you was quitting. You you just said, Yo, let me just get a route home or you just say, let me go on my home time right quick or something like that, which is always good because, you know, you let a company know that yeah. you're you're quitting for whatever reason. They, you know, that gives them more ammunition to mess with you. So you went home, cleaned out the yep. truck, made sure that the truck was cleaned out and you 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 bounced mm -hmm. it right back up into Chicago. What, what did they say? What did they say when when you was bringing the truck back? Did they try to offer you? They a, didn't even know. Mm hmm. They didn't even know. I bounced that thing back on a Sunday. I left my house. I left Georgia on Sunday. Bounced that thing back up to Chicago. Got there that evening. That afternoon, I got on the flight. Dropped it right in their yard. Took pictures of it. Click, click. They, they did my dispatch when I was rolling up to Chicago and oh. let them know I was. Oh, let okay. Know I was on my way. Quit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you, you, you talked to the dispatch. Did they try to? Did they try to talk you out of it, or did anybody else try to call you? Know, call you after? Oh yeah, they call me. Oh yeah, they call me all the time, wanting to know what they can do to get me to come back. Wow. Nothing. At this point, nothing. nothing. <laughs> so, Marshall, you reached out to me and you say you want to talk about a uh, talk about a good company that uh, is is this company that you're talking about, Barlow? Is this the company you're talking about that you yes. want to? You you want to get every you want to yeah. let everybody know about. All right, well, being oh, yeah. being the new driver, you know, being the new driver for a new company, this this ain't something that you're just trying to get everybody to come up in there and mm -hmm. and, I, and and get you I've know referral bonus. Mm -hmm. I ain't worried about that. I've been here since May. Um, they treat you like you are a person not just a number. You know, you'll get to know, of course, the owner. He'll come and introduce himself. His name's Rob. Awesome guy. Young gentleman. Awesome guy. Um, Uncle Phil. You'll get to know Uncle Phil. Misty, Cheryl, Sharon, Ashley, Devin, you know, Martin and Herb, Vanessa. All of them are just, they're just as nice as can be. I mean, we're talking down to earth. And Rick is maintenance, um, down to earth people. I mean, they're just, they're awesome. They're one of the best companies I've worked for since I left Frank's. All right. And, you know, I was with Frank's for 10 years. All right. So, Marcia, how, how long have you been driving all together? 26 years. All right. So, with that amount of experience coming into Barlow, uh, I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to be nosy about how much they're paying you, but did they did they bring you in above average than what they would normally 
uh, bring in a, a, a driver with less years than you? Well, I'm doing lease purchase. I'm doing a lease purchase. Barlow's got an awesome lease purchase program. They do have company drivers, and I think their company drivers, are they get paid like 75 cents a mile. Ooh, so it's bad. not, you know, it's not bad. 75 cents a mile is pretty good for a company driver, I that's, figure. That's damn good um, for a company driver. Yeah. Um, and their trucks are 20s to 23s. Um, if you do lease purchase, you you know, like I said, Uncle Phil will fly you up, put you in the motel. They pay for all that. They give you $100 orientation pay. Day one, you take your drug test. Um, of course, you know, you go over all the videos and all the extracurricular stuff. You listen to Uncle Phil talk a lot. Um, hair, hair, follicle, then, hair follicle or urine? No, urine. Okay. And then... Um, you pick out your truck if you want lease purchase. My first truck was a 20 um, Freightliner. It had the table in it. Nice. They all got, I call them deer hitters, but they got the deer guard on them. Um, so I got on the list. I wanted a brand new one. I got on the list that day for a new 23. I wanted a Volvo. You know me and my Volvo. Um, so yesterday on my son's birthday, I picked up my 23 Volvo, and I've been okay. there since May. Okay, okay, okay. They have internationals. They have internationals, Kenworths, Freightliners, and Volvos. And they're, all their trucks is owner-operator spec. They have inverters. They have, like, plug-ins, that house plug-ins. They got plug-ins in them. They got optimized idle. And they run about 72. All uh, right. The lease purchase trucks, if... Uh, you do lease purchase, you know, you got your truck payment. Your truck payment depends on what year it is, but it averages out to about fourteen seventy. Mine actually went up twelve dollars. So uh, so wait, wait, wait eighty two a week. Wait, wait, wait. So this is what, fourteen seventy a week? Yeah, but that's your truck payment, your insurance, and they got I call it the three seventy five plan. Okay? Mm -hmm. Three hundred and seventy five dollars is maintenance. It's a maintenance plan. If anything happens to your truck, you take it to the shop and you ain't got to pay nothing out of pocket. Nothing. Okay. So you got you got to take it to their shop or their approved shop, right? If you got a freight liner, you take it to freight liner. If it be fixed at the TA, take it to the TA. If it be fixed at the Love, take it to the Love. Okay. Okay. So how long how long have you been with them so far? Since May. Okay. May so, the nineteenth. So since May and you've been with them for uh for that long, what the first mm -hmm. what what what's your first settlement looking like? My for, well, I'll tell you I can't give that well I can. Um, my no, first you can ball, no, 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 you, you, no, no, you can ballpark it. You, you, you don't have to be. Yeah, my in first detail. settlement was almost four thousand dollars. And that's and and that's after everything that was taken out, right? Mm-hmm. All mm -hmm. right. So, so being the lease a, a lease op, explain it's, explain how you know because you've been in the game for well over twenty six years. So I'm sure you will you you understand how how things work out here explain how you know you after they take everything out that'd be your four thousand dollars uh take well not take mm -hmm. home that'd just be gross from what they taken out explain to the people what yeah. else that needs to be taken out before they can actually say this is my net pay like do you pay for your own insurance taxes all like that. Explain to the people how that worked. Out of the fourteen, okay. Out of out of your gross, say all your loads that week, you gross ten thousand dollars. Okay, you've got to take your fuel out, the fourteen seventy, which includes your truck payment, all your insurance, and your maintenance account, your three seventy five plan. So that includes all of that. So you take that, and then you take your fuel out. If you've got any. Um, advances, you got to take that out. But if you got lumpers, 
and you get a lump or fee, they'll reimburse that back to you. So it'll see you'll see it as a took out, but if you go down, it'll show a reimbursement. And then on your fuel, when you get your fuel, they've got such a great fuel discount. Um, I've got fuel for as low as three dollars and a quarter a gallon. So you'll see the price you pay, the pump price you pay for fuel, and then underneath that line, you'll see a fuel discount of whatever it was. Mm, okay. And then after you do all that, you look down and you see out of this ten thousand dollars, this is what your ended price is. Whether you spend, you know. $2,500 on fuel or $2,800 on fuel, all of that's got to be deducted. Okay, okay. And then you just put money aside into the savings account to pay your yearly taxes. Now, you, you being... Unless you got dependents. If you got dependents, you ain't got to pay tax. <laughs> <laughs> you being... Uh, you, With you, a good accountant. <laughs> Now you you you've been leasing for quite a while, right? You know, throughout your twenty six years. Well, for a long time when I was at Frank's, uh, I just it was a company driver because I was like, you know, I just didn't feel like I don't know, I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. But my dad was an owner operator. Um, my ex, you know, he was owner operator. I'd done things for him, um, so you know, I knew what I was doing. I just never did decide to take the plunge until after I left Frank's. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of making everybody else rich. I'm fixing to build my empire. That's what's up. That's what's so I up. I got me an LLC and, and, and I'm starting to build my empire. All right. So, so Marshall, how did you go about getting your LLC? Did you, did you by chance go to one of these internet gurus and pay a super an amount of money for them? Through, um, I went through Swift Filing. Uh, they're they're really good. I had um, I paid like three hundred dollars for my LLC, but I had mine in five days. So I expedited mine. Okay. Um, I got my LLC in five days. Now let's talk about uh let's talk about driver's health, man. Because you know you you said that you've been a a company driver for quite a while. And of course, you was getting, you know, your benefits, your health benefits and stuff like that through, uh, you know, through the company. But now being that you're a lease driver and I'm sure that the company didn't offer you no know, health benefits or anything like that. And, you know, we're we're getting old. You know what I'm saying? So health insurance is in, is is lightweight important. I'm sure health insurance played a a bit part in your accident uh a couple of years ago but uh but now that but now that you're you you you're you know driving up under your own you're leasing up under your own you paying you know everything out of pocket how difficult or yeah how difficult was it for you to find a good insurance carrier to to to, to take care of you especially at your age still don't have health insurance, but in our area, we have CHI. And um, my daughter, my youngest daughter is actually a nurse at CHI. She, uh, they offer a lot of plans through your primary doctors. If you will ask them about it, that will help uninsured patients. It's called medical assistance. Um, that's what I have through my doctor, and I have a great doctor. Um, so that way we still get the health care that we need at low income or knowing at low low price is more of what I should say, a lower price. Or if you meet the certain standards, you don't have to pay nothing. It's all covered. All right. So and my daughter's the one who turned me on to that. So if you'll go through your primary, um, if they've got medical assistance offered, because all, all, all hospitals and doctor offices should do it. I know down in our area they do. So that way people, because there's a lot of Americans out here that does not have health, health insurance, yeah. but they can't afford it. It's yeah. so high. Oh, my God. And the, sure, you know, and, and, the, and, and the insurance that you do have sometimes don't even work. Don't in, cover. 
don't even cover. They 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 put out a lot of BS like for your for, uh for your Hi. Um my name is Peter Parker and I like a coffee, please. Okay, no problem, Peter Parker. For your prescriptions and everything, like I, I remember like about a year ago, my 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 doctor prescribed me some some type of medicine. I went to go and pick it up, and they said that the insurance didn't want them to couldn't cover it. They want them to give me a different type of medicine. And I'm like, so this mm -hmm. is so this is what's going on between the doctor and the and uh, in the insurance to fight for me to take the proper medicine that probably could uh that could contain my life like how how is that possible right. and then i just got finished well i've got a kroger plan i don't know you know kroger's in a lot of areas in some areas it's not kroger you can go to the pharmacy and you can sign up for a kroger savings and you pay like i think it's like 20 something dollars a year and you get a discount on all your medication. And even some of your medication, like my blood pressure medicine, is free through Kroger. That you, you for your blood pressure, you, you take what? Lacertin? Lacertin? Uh, Lacinopril. Oh, Lacinopril. H-T-Z-T. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's And that's, then, that's you know, crazy. I have chronic migraines. You know, I have chronic migraines, and I have a shot. I'm 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 on a shot once a month, and that shot is three thousand dollars a month. Damn! What? And I actually, yeah. And I went through an it's called Amavig. I went through the Amavig Foundation, and because I'm on the highest dose they have, they actually signed me up for a program to where I get my shots for free. How did you come? How did you come out and find that? Because like a lot of the stuff that we can take My advantage doctor. that we can take advantage of is is hard is is kind of like hard to find. It's like we got to dig through the through the trenches mm -hmm. in well, order to find that. My good saving grace is I have a daughter that's in the medical field, so she helps out with. Anything like that, she'll ask the reps, you know, hey, my mom's got chronic migraines or my mom's da da da. And they tell her what what we need to do to help when it comes to things like that. And my daughter was my saving grace on it. And being and being that you are a senior citizen, that works out uh, a lot in your favor too. I'm a senior citizen yet, I'm only fifty one. <laughs> <laughs> we get we getting there. <laughs> we getting there, but I'm I got, barely over that hump yet now. I got I got AARP. That's <laughs> I do too. I signed up for AARP when I was fifty. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. So Marshall, man, so this company Barlow. Bar Barlow, where where are they out of? Where where are they out of? Boston, Missouri. They're out of where now? Boston, Missouri. Off, offset, Missouri. Fawcett. Fawcett, Missouri. Oh, okay, okay. And again, how did you come across uh, finding this company? Like, I mean, somebody somebody referred you there, or you 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 took the time to do the research on this company? My ex works there. <laughs> That'd do it. That'd do it. Like, yo. uh. I know we're ex, but you know you want to link. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right? I mean, me and him still cordial. We we're we're still fine. I mean, you know, we still, you know, we're good. All right. We still have our time. All right. So good. So so good settlements. Uh, good equipment. Good company. Uh, you would you would definitely suggest this company overall, especially if you're interested oh, in yeah. this purchase. Yep, because I, every one of their trucks is on our operator space. Every one of them. Okay, okay. Every yeah. single one of them. They make sure that the drivers have what they need. I cook in my truck <clears throat> because, for one, with COVID and, and all this and the monkey pox and whatever else is going to come about, I just had trust issues with people cooking my food. 
so I just I just cook out of my truck. I got my microwave. I've got my hot logic. I've got my pans. I've got everything I need in this truck to make me a meal. I just had eggs and bacon for breakfast. That's what's up. The bacon is always good. All right. So, so with everything that this company is uh, offering, are you are are you ever are you able to see your loads, or do you, are you on a low board, or do you got a dispatcher here as well? No. Got a dispatcher, they will offer you a load, and you know, it is left up to you. Lease purchase don't have you know, we have the opportunity to say what else you got. You know, if you don't want to go there, what else you got? Um, you may get something that pays worse, or you may get something that pays better. Um, we do a lot of dropping hooks at Tyson, Trump, um, Reesers. Most of our loads is preloaded there, so we always are. Everything that we do, we always come back to Missouri because our best paying loads is coming out of those facilities. Okay, okay. So we always come out of there, and, you know, we go wherever. Like, right now, I'm going to Jersey. It's paying almost five grand to go to Jersey. Okay, that's what's up. What's the variance? Like, uh, I, I, I spoke to a driver that, that did lease with uh with one of these secondhand companies and they pretty much gave all their good loads to their company drivers and then their so-called loads to their lease drivers how's the variance there at uh at barlow i mean is it an even kill do you guys get the good pickings i think it's an even kill yeah, I think it's even kill because they won't. Barlow's not going to hold your hand. They're going to give you the tools to succeed, and it's left up to you whether you succeed or not. You know, that's that's your boat. You can sail it or you can sink it. Um, they don't treat you any different from a company driver, but they know that you have to make the best out of everything because everything you're making is, you know, that's your little red wagon, and you've got to pull it. So they do everything they can to make you succeed. Like I said, they're not going to sit there. They're not going to harp on you. They're not going to call you and say, oh, you're going to be on time. I never talk to these people. When I done my orientation, when I left that yard, I didn't go back to that yard until yesterday to pick up my new truck. They don't, they don't harp on you. They don't stay on you. You know, if your load comes out late, you you know, send a message over the tablet. Hey, there's no way I'm going to be at point B on time because this load ain't even out yet. Okay, they reschedule. What's your ETA? Let them know when you're going to be there and they'll set it up. Your fuel surcharge, they actually pay fuel surcharge on load. So the only thing they're going to take their cut out of is the line haul. And they have a driver portal where you can see everything. Your line haul, your fuel surcharge, if they pay you deadhead, uh, a friend of mine works over here, and he's deadheading 400 miles. They're paying him $500 to deadhead 400 miles to pick up his load. Okay, that's what's up. Bar How you pronounce the name of it? Barlow? Barlow. Barlow. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, there you have it. You know, new driver, uh, drivers, uh, that's, that's over at Barlow looking like they getting, uh, they, they getting treated well over there. I post you a picture on my Facebook for my, uh, to show you a picture of my new truck. Okay. That's what's up. My old one's up there. Uh, my old one's up there. Oh, Blue's already there. You can see Blue. She's Twenty Freightliner. Uh, when I first got her, it had one hundred and twenty-eight miles on it, one hundred twenty-eight thousand on it. Um, she was a twenty, of course. So you know, of course, she's gonna have some miles on it. Um, this one had forty-two miles on it when I got it yesterday. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Plus, here's another former uh, super ego. So definitely, <laughs> I, I would suggest you guys, uh, especially when it comes to super ego. Because there's a lot of a lot of new drivers that's coming yeah. on and stay saying, away from them and and saying how 
how well this this uh, Chicago Land Company is, but I I myself had talked to a lot of drivers, so definitely come over here and subscribe to the channel and type in Super Eagle. I should just make that a separate uh, playlist for you well, guys, saw, so you guys uh, could just listen to these to these former drivers and how they was actually being treated as super eagle man yeah, that's crazy none of their dispatchers are are here none of them's in america no, none of them at 7 a.m our time say eastern standard time because i'm in georgia so at 7 a.m eastern standard time it's two o'clock in the afternoon where they're at wow that's crazy that is crazy well there you have it guys Again, do your homework on Super Eagle. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, so you guys know that the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man Podcast Show. If you guys want to join in the conversation, hit me up, 216-600-2090. And that's how y'all can get in and get in on the conversation. Marshall, thank you very much for coming back on the Lockout Man Podcast Show and chopping it up with me. Be safe out there. There's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I sweat that this is that place to be.